Hi Cancer, how are you? If you know how, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is just your weekly reading. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that we just could be reversed in between energies. And as always, I want to remind you that I run no daycare. Just know that the readings are general. Feel free to take really whatever you want today. Let me get that card. And we got it back. This is the Nine of Swords. Let's see what else. We got right here the Two of Cups. The Moon, the Empress. Four of Swords and overall energy. We got the Sun. And on the bottom here, we got the Page of Wands. So we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got Pisces. We got Libra. A lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got the Leo energy as well. So I do feel... I do feel like some of you are feeling guilty, perhaps, for some sort of feelings that you guys could be developing. I do feel like some of you could be also missing a person. I feel like some of you are keeping secrets from somebody else. I feel right here that there's a sense of like you feeling guilty because you could be seeing somebody in secret or wanting to see somebody in secret. I do feel there's a lot of things for fi to figure it out because I feel you could be confused. You could be in between two people, have emotions and feelings for two different people. I do feel once again that you are very confused and this is what it costs a lot of like a feeling, uh, feeling um, guilty, feeling guilty. Um, I do see that you need to work on yourself and finding answers before jumping in into conclusions with the photos of the viewers i do feel like your energies feel very stressed very all over the place i don't see that you are able to make correct decisions right now because you may regret them later with the sun right here i do see new beginnings coming for you in summer new beginnings are coming for you in any way shape or form with the patron ones and the reverse right here i feel that excuse me, the person that you could want don't want you in that sense just yet. I feel like the person that you could want, they're not willing to settle down. I feel like they just don't seek that. They don't want something serious. With the Queen of Cups and the Reverse, I, don't, I do not feel like this connection that you could be interested in is going to go into higher levels of commitment. Unfortunately, I feel like this person is just for the moment to help you figure it out something, to help you figure it out where you want to be and or who you want to be with. I do feel like this is not the person for you, the person that you're dealing with right now that could be feeling like very intensely. This is a person that is just there for a chapter. I do feel like you're meant to be with another water sign. The person that you are right now is going to help you a lot. It's going to actually give you a lot of help that you didn't know you needed, but it's not the person you're going to end up with, just so you know. Judgment and reverse. I do see that some text messages are gonna get exposed or could get exposed. Uh, I do feel like the the judgment you thought you were going to receive, you are not. A lot of people are on your side for whatever reason. With the high priestess, uh, I do feel like important decisions because there's some like possible endings and new beginnings like breathing on your neck. You need to be on your best behavior literally, and you need to focus and listen to your intuition because. Excuse me. This energies feel very intense and you need to maybe like talk to your ancestors or your divine guidance to make the decision because I feel like it's extremely intense and it could change your livelihood. With the five of ones right here, I do feel like you're super stressed with Leo, Aries, Sagittarius because uh, the high priest is with Pisces as well because... I feel like a lot of people could be telling you different things or even though that people are giving you good advice, you feel overwhelmed yourself. I do feel like here that you have, uh, you're internally fighting with yourself, internally trying to figure out where is or what's the right action. But I feel because you're confused and overwhelmed, you don't see the answer to it. Sometimes it's not with who, it's pretty much why. Why do you want to or why do you do such and such? Half of the time, the answer is within us. But I do see like a very big, intense confusion here. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Cups, I feel right here that um, this situation that you're dealing with right now is not going to be entirely for a long term, but it's actually going to help you find the right person. I do feel like this 
connection right now that you could be dealing with because you're going to be in between three people i see three people somebody that's a, uh somebody that you maybe know for a long time somebody that you just met is somebody that it hasn't been in your life just yet but just you know you're going to be in between three people okay so just three possible people that you have to make decisions and that's why you need to do it right right now like focus on yourself figure out what you're looking for why you're looking for that what do you want because at the end of the day i feel like being confused is going to lead you to make bad decisions and or make drastic decisions okay but i do feel right here that this person and situation is actually pushing you to meet the right person i do feel you're going to meet somebody in summer somebody else in the summer okay what else Okay, so there is a possible concert that you may show up or that you may hear. Uh, somebody's gonna invite you to that concert or you're gonna go and there's somebody that is not even a singer. It's somebody who's gonna be in that concert. Somebody who is tanned, who has, this could be a possible description, brown hair, if it's a man, a brown and beard. And this person dresses, like you're gonna feel like they, they dress very like hipster. But I do feel like this person's gonna actually look at you and you and it's gonna buy you a drink and they're gonna actually be wearing like a long sleeve white shirt i feel and this person is a lawyer i do feel like this person could be a lawyer or they could actually work in pretty much uh legal situations this could be a pro bono person or somebody who fights for the right thing but i do see like this person is somebody completely new somebody who has a beard somebody who is quite like average build to be honest so i see that this person could also have wavy ish hair wavy ish hair hmm. i do see like this person could be irish poland something like european descent you know what i'm saying so I feel like this person is a very honest, caring, they have their own money, they have their own this, they're very, very handsome um, or attractive, and they're very, very, like, smart, and they're going to buy you a drink, and it's going to be in a certain concert that you're going to go, that you're going to meet this person. Now, you need to actually figure it out what you want. Like I said, right now, I told you a million of times because I do see that cancers, you are very, very all over the place. And I feel like it's like fear is holding you back. You're afraid of like crossing the road. You're afraid of like doing something wrong. But the fact is like by not doing anything, you're making something wrong because you're not doing anything and you're stuck. Let's see, what else can you tell me about this possible new energy? Like, you feel judged, but you're not judged. I do feel right here that this person that you're going to meet in that concert is going to say, hey, do you have social media? You're going to give him your, your Instagram. And I feel they're going to ask you out as well. This person has a big fan. They're a big fan of plants or gardening. Um, this person is going to actually make you relive that love. And I feel like the connection that you have right now feels good but it's not gonna feel like this connection that's upcoming this new energy is your actual soulmate you're gonna meet a soulmate the person that is for you with the four of pentacles right now you are very stuck and i feel you have bigger problems than just focusing on the future i feel you need to figure out what you want to do right now because right now you're only in between two people but soon you're going to meet a water sign with a uh, Taurus energy here as well that is your divine partner. And this is the person, I do see that you're going to get married to this person or this person is your, your future husband or your future wife. And you did not see this coming because some of you don't believe in marriage or don't want to get married. Who, like, you know what I'm saying? But this person and you, you're going to get married. And there's also a possible another baby. If, they, if it's not like you, this could be somebody else. Like this person could have a kid as well. I do see having like a, a boy and a girl. You know what I'm saying? And a dog also. So I do feel right here that this person that you're actually heading to. That's why you're going through the storm right now. Because you need to declutter and move from some situations. And figure out exactly what you want. Because the new energy is coming just yet. And you need to be completely free to jump into the new. Because this person is the one for you. Look at that.
lovers and beavers gemini energy this uh a soulmate coming your way and this is the person you're gonna marry this is the person you have been manifesting with or wanting but for right now you need to work on your five of pentacles this is the energy of like a vows of poverty feeling lost feeling like you don't belong not knowing exactly what you want to do right now your focus is to figure out what you want and where you want to go because they're coming this summer okay so that's what i got here you don't want to be in between three people so you need to make make decisions and figure it out before that happens okay let's see what the possible initials of the new new energy okay so So we got Emma and Michelle. This could be the first, last, middle, or even a nickname. Emma and Michelle, V S and Victor, U S and Umbrella, J S and Jason, W S and William, Z S and Zane, O S and Oscar, P S and Peter, E S and Edwin, H S and Hamburger, V S and Victor, J E S and George, and Q S and Kesto. Those are the possible initials of the person I'm talking about, the newer energy. Okay, I want to try to give you their physical features to maybe help you figure it out who this person could be. Let's see. Let's see. Let me just fix this real quick. I'm just picky as heck. So, let's see, Cancer. We got somebody who has tattoos or is a tattoo artist. We're talking about somebody who could be a witch as well, or you could be a witch. Um, somebody who likes to wear vibrant apparel. Curly hair. A man. Long hair. I also saw tall energy. Anything else that you can give me, mother? Let me just... Okay, let me get that card got it it says mall somebody who could have a mall on their face we got asian we got younger than you and adamant animated eyes and bald somebody else with light skin so this is the possible physical description or feature for some of you who this person may be this might be helpful for some it may not again this is general so it's a hit or miss sometimes now I'm going to give you an Archangel's number with an Archangel's message, okay? Let's see. Let's see. We got 777 and this is alignment and it says your progress is recognized and alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized. So that's that let me give you an angel's message before i'm done with cancer's reading today let's see let's see for cancer okay let's see if there's any other one that they want to give you okay we got energy work and it says life can be electrifying because it is very is it is very essence is energy or its very essence is energy your body is remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatment um your hands are and heart are activated to give healing energies to your loved ones and clients and then we got cupid <laughs> we send great waivers of love into your heart and mind awakening your love life your love for life itself your your clear decisions to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects so cupid is here so with us say guys this is the end of your reading thank you so very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to follow me on instagram tiktok you want to go to the description box below you're going to find the link for those also i I'm open for personal readings. I'm back on June 8th. So you want to book already. All the availability is going to be on my website. You want to go to the description box below. And you're going to find the link for that. I also have a Spotify. If you want to uh, listen to about other topics, Twin Flames and all that, it's already over there. I'm grateful for everybody who follows me over there. 
I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers on Spotify, on my podcast. Also, upcoming projects are coming for offering tarot reading classes. Also, I'm an Amazon affiliate. You want to check out my storefront. Finally, I have a giveaway going on on YouTube. I'm going to make a video after. You might see it after this or before this one. Who knows? But I made a video about it to explain all of it. And finally, I want to remind you that I do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and I never message first or ever to offer tarot reading inquiries. Everything is done through my website if you want to get a, a reading with me. So with this said, thank you guys so much and have an amazing day.